Hello and welcome to Envision. I'm Deanne Conrad. We're here with Dr. Brian Maher, Superintendent of Sioux Falls Schools, for a series of short conversations to inform parents, students, and the community about progress in the Sioux Falls Public Schools and also some initiatives that we'll be working on. So, Dr. Maher, I want to talk to you a little bit. You're, you're just finishing up your first month in Sioux Falls. Tell us a little bit about what the first month has been like. What have you learned so far? Uh, well, it's been a whirlwind in that first month, and I, I guess uh, probably the biggest thing I've learned is uh, there are tremendous people in the community and in the school district. I have a whole lot of people yet to learn, uh, yet to meet and, and to learn about the community, but I'm on that path, and so that's, uh, that's good. And I think it all comes down to people if you're going to get anything done. So that's a real good place to start after one month. You came in with a 100-day plan. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what that plan entails and how you've been rolling that out. Really, the plan is about um, learning about the community, meeting people, and developing relationships. So that plan starts really, I'll say, from the inside out. It started with the Board of Education and myself really at the interview process uh, getting to know one another and developing that relationship and committing to one another for our time together. Um, from there, it really works its way out through the school organization. I'm in the process of meeting all the principals. I can nearly check that off of my list of to-dos, uh, but not quite yet, so that we're still in that progress, in that process. Also, I'll be meeting with uh, students. I have a number of student councils to meet with beginning next week, so uh, that's in place and then to meet the, the staff to the extent that I can meet the staff as well. So really trying to get an idea of what the inner workings are like in the school district. And then from there, what's going on outside of the school district in the greater community. I've had an opportunity to meet with a few of the parents, um, with the mayor of our fine community. Um, we're in contact with the governor trying to set that meeting up. And so we're looking at meeting with uh, not only uh, parents and citizens of the community, community but uh, political leaders as well. So that's all in trying to get a handle on what's going on in the Sioux Falls community so that our school district can be reflective of what our community wants. So those conversations that you're having, is it more just a, a get to know you conversation? Is it about um, these are the things we need to work forward with in the future? Uh, what are those conversations? Um, Containing. Each conversation kind of takes on its own um, life, uh, but really there are three fundamental questions that I ask each person or each group. One is, what do you like about what's going on in the Sioux Falls School District? Because there's so much to like. And I want to make sure that as we look for things to do in the future, that we don't miss those things that we're doing really, really well. So there's some continuity of, uh, of purpose there for that question. The second thing I ask is, if you could change something to better the school district, what would it be? What I'm looking for there over time is, are there any themes that develop? Any, any gaping wounds in the district that need to, be, need to be addressed? And then the third thing is just a simple one and, and one that usually draws some interesting responses and that is, if you are the new superintendent of Sioux Falls, what would you do? What, what, what things should I know being new to the position? And those three questions generally take about 30 to 60 minutes in terms of a conversation. So I'm, I'm learning as I go, kind of doing uh, my own quasi-qualitative study on the school district and the community. Wonderful. Well, thanks for joining us today on Envision, and thank you for joining us as well.